Hi guys and welcome to the video for Aries. I'm just giving you an update on the astrology. We have the moon trined with Pluto. So there's very strong emotions connected to service to others, connected to um, some kind of a transformation or destruction power in a network. Um, so the emotions are very strong connected to communication with others that we serve and it is enhancing or fueling the emotions are fueling change but Pluto can be destructive as well so be careful whatever you do in this energy um, it's not overly um, you know overreacting and then something could go viral just take a moment to pause because Virgo is ruled by Mercury which is fast communication across many people and then when it's supported by Pluto in Aquarius it could have a very destructive effect. Now Venus is going through Cancer, pleasure, safety, home, security, uh, anything to do with um, feeling calm um, is squared off to it looks like here Aries energy but it's the T-square between the North Node, Pluto, and it was Mars, but now it's rising Cancer. So Cancer is about feeling safe, secure, um, your family, your home, your money, safety and security. We have this energy of the Sun in Gemini at 7 degrees. And what is it supporting? Let's see, the Moon in Virgo at 20 degrees, Pluto, zero degrees of Aquarius retrograde. So there could be some things you're going through, or a lot of us are going through with Aquarius energy, is people around you are connected to you through a network of people, large groups. There could be some destructive things happening that have happened before happening again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so Pluto is the planet of destruction and power. But it can be positive changes, breaking down things that don't work. But in essence, Pluto is destruction, and it is fueled by the moon right now. And it is squared to the north node. So it's resistance. There's a resistance to passion money, pleasure, the north node, and Taurus, or it looks like it's in Aries, but if we do have north node in Aries, north node at two degrees of Taurus, it's always retrograde, so don't worry about that. Um, so Mars is in Leo, aggressive protection, um, fighting for something that you believe in. And we have Saturn and Pisces. Saturn is the planet of discipline and order um, in the house of the mind, the fantasy, or the escape. So we have Saturn squared the sun. So the sun in Gemini is enhancing the energy of communication, talking to people, um, fast communication. It could also be duality where you are split down the middle about something. And this is connected to Mars and Venus. It's conjunct Venus. So there could be something here about safety, security, home, your family, your roots, where you're split down the middle. And I think Saturn, it's malefic. It's a greater malefic. It is about discipline, um, but Cap, you know, it rules over Capricorn, and that can be a really hard driving disciplinarian, drill sergeant type of energy. And it's in the twelfth house of Pisces, and that could be secrets. Um, it can be escaping because it can be the cruelty of the mind 
or mind games. And I think I have seen that coming up in the cards for many people, like the magician reversed mind games. Um, these mind games could be connected to what someone is fighting for because we have Saturn connecting to Mars in Leo. So I always say try to follow Venus and then try to follow Jupiter. Venus will give you the pleasure and it will give you the safety and security and the feeling of that things are going well. And it is actually trying to, no, sextiled to the moon. So Venus sextiled to the moon could be enhanced by the feelings that you get from talking to other people. Do you feel safe, secure around a person or do you feel threatened? Do you feel like someone is has a bad motive? That could be the energy coming from Pluto, like you feel like someone has a bad motive. And then the moon here trying to Venus. You know, your emotions will tell you whether this is a pleasurable experience or not. Okay, so let's see what we're getting. Show us here, Aries. First house of the Zodiac. What do they need to see? Four of Cups. You're not interested in something or someone is passing on something. They're saying no thanks. The challenge is the moon, so something is hidden in the dark. Something is secretive, deceptive, or not known, unknown. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody's reaching out. We have here a Queen of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's very smart, being very honest. Freedom, breaking free, liberated, living in the moment. Okay, six of coin is coming up in the future. Giving something of value for balance, or you could be receiving. Um, Getting something of value. It's something that is bringing something into balance. Okay, your energy is high priestess. Being quiet. Keeping something to yourself. Following your intuition. Just not talking. Not, not being very quiet. The moon is the challenge. Something here is secretive. Okay, two of swords came out with this so I'll just put it here there's something where you may not ha have the information so you're following your intuition what is around Aries here the Sun card okay so something is being illuminated it's coming to light it's being enhanced okay Looks like something here is on your mind, causing you stress, worry, fear, anxiety. We do have an offer here, but the devil is, there's something, a situation where someone is controlling um, negative, or it could be something, someone who wants obedience or compliance. There could be a negative situation here. The Two of Swords is you don't have this information. You don't know. And the thing is, too, it's in the moon as your challenge. So it's being hidden. Um, what is this Ace of Pentacles coming in? Four of Coin. Okay. Somebody is either holding on, not wanting to let go, but it could also be... It could also be not, you know, holding back. There's an emperor energy here, Aries energy as a strong person, an individual who is has personal power. Why? It's, but you're in an energy of following your intuition. 
Four of Swords. Not talking to someone here. What is the sun about for Aries? King of the Coin. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody who's in like a leadership role. Ten of Cups is here. Long-term happiness. Relationships that are, you know, fulfilling. Could be something to do with family. What is Aries energy here? Show us Aries as the high priestess. Okay, you're taking action. There could be something where you're taking action on a situation. Bottom of the deck is the judgment. The day of reckoning, resurrection, rebirth, renewal. There's something offered to you, but it's in a four of coin. You could be holding back. I feel like you're doing a lot of listening. But then you're taking action. There's someone here who is in a king of the coin energy. Very practical, very pragmatic. Money is very important to this person. There's a, a connection to people they've known a long time. Family. Um, friends. People who this person ha has known for a very long time. On your mind is freedom with the fool. You're wanting to break free, live in the moment, but there is something here about giving something of value, paying. You could also be receiving this. What is the six of coin here? Eight of coin. Work. Focused on your work, your money. What is the fool? The judgment. Okay. Somebody could be judging a situation... There could be a decision that's made, a rebirth, a resurrection, where someone could also be judging someone for being unfocused. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is not true. Um, if there's someone who's trying to say that you're unfocused, that's not the case. It looks like you're fearing the worst in a situation with the Nine of Swords. Like you're thinking there could be something that could go very wrong. Um, what is this Ace of Coin as the outcome? Chariot going forward. Okay. You are going to overcome a situation here. Who? What is this Ace of Swords in the reverse? What is the Ace of Swords? It could also be delayed information. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Somebody could have bad karma that they're bringing on themselves. What is the King of Pentacles here? Okay. That's the Fool energy. Somebody is taking a leap of faith, living in the moment. You become aware of this energy. What is your energy here for Aries? What is Aries doing? You're the king of wands, taking action. Eight of cups. You, want, you don't feel like you want to be in a connection anymore. Why are you focused on your money so much? Page of swords. Somebody could be spying on you, watching you, observing, asking questions, very curious. What is the King of Wands here? Okay, it looks like in the upright, Nine of Cups, you're going to be celebrating, you're going to be having fun. What is Ten of Cups? What is Ten of Cups around Aries? Six of Cups, friends, family, siblings, people who you have good memories with. What is the lie and the karma here? What is the lie and the karma? Two of Swords. You don't have this information. Strength reversed. Somebody lacks self-control. 
they're under pressure. They're heavily burdened with pressure and responsibility and four of swords. It looks like you're cutting this person off. You're not talking to this person. What is the devil in the upright? Okay, Knight of Swords in the reverse. A lot of drama, but then we have here Five of Cups in the reverse. Somebody doesn't care. I think it's you. You don't care. Why is there the Fool card here on your mind? Breaking free, liberation. Queen of Water in the upright. Somebody is coming towards you with their feelings. Reaching out with compassion. What is the um, energy of the Emperor here with the Ace of Coin? What's the Emperor with the Ace of Coin? Eight of Rods in the reverse. Something's not moving forward. Although with the Chariot in the upright, you're very determined to overcome obstacles. King of Water in the upright, okay. Someone who shows compassion, love, maturity. What is Eight of Cups here? The lovers in the reverse. Unable to reconcile, unable to heal. Page of Cups in the reverse. There's somebody here who you don't like. Um, they could be false, like um, fake or false. It could also be somebody who delivers bad news. But I think the Page of Cups in the reverse is like a liar or just somebody who is false or phony. Um, what's coming in? You're very focused on your money, earning money. Six of Air. You're avoiding drama, staying out of conflict. And what's this page of air? Somebody is causing conflict with the page of air. Emperor in the reverse. Okay. A tyrant. Um, somebody who has no strength. They are, it's a tyrant energy. Somebody who watches, observes. Um, could be overly controlling. We have here the six of wands in the upright. There's good feedback and good reviews of something you're doing. There's a victory here, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords. You're coming out of some difficult situation and having a victory. Okay, let's see what the Kipper has to say. Show us Aries, show us Aries. Show us Aries. What do they need to see? Something about a child. Or something about what someone you knew as a child. We have here the change. We have a coffin, which is a change again. We have a mature man. And what else? We have a courtship. So this could be a new relationship with someone. Could be ending a relationship and starting a new relationship. We've got occupation, main female. What else here? Occupation, okay, wants to be here. So there's something possibly about a ending a job and starting a new job. Something in the community and concerns. Okay. Let's get a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. So you're overcoming something by being quiet, observing, listening, listening to your intuition, but you're also taking action. 
you're in a very mature, responsible energy. King of Fire. Okay, show us Aries. What do they need to see? The message in a bottle. Okay, receiving an unexpected message from someone. Oh. Okay, unexpected messages. To be fair, something needs to come into balance. It needs to be made fair, balanced. It needs to be made right. Okay, what else do we have here for Aries? You have a deep sense of knowing about something. And there is something here about a new life. Okay, to be fair and a new life. Okay, message in a bottle. Something requires you to be calm um, and breathe, stay centered. Um, there could be something around you that is annoying where you have to be calm. You could feel angry with the King of Wands in the upright. There could be something that makes you upset, but you are taking action. And with the High Priestess, you're following your intuition, you're listening to your inner self, your higher self. There could have been a person or a group that you're dealing with that you feel is very toxic. Something may have been on your mind. All right, show us here for Aries. What do they need to see? What do they need to see? Show us Aries, first house energies. Each time I tune into spirit, the highest truth shows up for me. Guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. I choose to tune into spirit. And I also got... Um, when I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it here for you, Aries. It looks like you're overcoming some kind of difficult situation. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching and take care.